Hello, viewers. Welcome to Sensor 360 Investor Channel, where we use best practices from the companies we invest in around the globe and apply those to the investing process. And within the 360 view, uh, framework view that we have, today we're going to focus on indexes and ETFs. And we'll take a look at the major US markets, uh, sectors, uh, we'll take a look at some retirement funds, the index models. And we'll finish off with one ETF, ETF idea for you to follow up on. Okay, before we begin, this channel is not providing financial advice. Please pause, read through this, and then continue. Okay, so without much further ado, let's begin the show. Okay, so here's a look at the major US markets, and we can see that like, over a six month period, pretty much uh, with what we can see so far is that the October lows generally across the index indices uh, are the workable lows at the moment. So the Dow has, uh, which is only 30 stocks, and does have some defensive stocks, and nature has actually made quite the move off those lows. It is pulling back towards a small area. The S&P also, we have October lows are sticking so far, a little valley up, it's pulling back in, has cut um, moving average support, but there's some support between 37 and 3,800. <clears throat> we'll see how it does with that. The NASDAQ, again, October lows, and this one's been working off off of that since then. It has had a pullback. Looks like it's starting to retest. It's only the, the November low, and then we'll see if it goes on to test the October lows. But if the October lows stick or the November lows stick, then we have the beginnings of maybe what may be a, a bottoming process. And then similarly on the uh, Russell 2000, we've got October lows, and they were retested with a slight lambda cut. Since then, it's moved up and away. And we have uh, the recent pullback coming in, and we will see if this again comes in to retest those October lows. So certainly on a couple of the indices, the October low uh, has come into a retest zone. If we look at uh, the one-year performance of the uh, S&P uh, sectors, and we can see the only game in town at this stage now is energy, even staples and utilities have given up a little bit, and the rest of the sectors are just not even in the ballpark. And the slightly different view, a two-month performance view. And so here we can see utility staples and healthcare, which are very defensive in nature, uh, still leading the um, from a momentum side. Industrials and energy uh, following up. And then if we look at uh, the S&P index as the benchmark, so everything to the left of this is outperforming the past two months, everything to the right and below it. Underperforming, so we can still technology still underperforming the benchmark, communications and discretionary, and these three are really make up the, the growth sectors. So growth is underperforming, defensive and value are outperforming the benchmark. All right, so a quick look at the some retirement funds. So this is these are offerings from a certain four hundred one k, and we can see that the growth fund has had quite the sell off. It's just being declined. and this is one year view. It's still in a downtrend, um, trying to stabilize here. The uh, small caps being a bit more volatile, and it's still low, and so they've made the low, retested the low, and they're coming in possibly to make a third test here. And then on the value fund, this one's done the best, it's down the least at this stage, uh, so still within about 5% of its uh, peak. and this is where some of the larger stocks, blue chips and defensive value stocks will, will sit. All right, so all of that, what that means for the investing model that we have is 401k remains in cash, the R20P portfolio stays in cash and the R20M portfolio stays in cash. So the model indicates a red status, all three, which basically means uh, cash is where you want to be. All right, so let's look at one ETF idea. And this is uh, the ETF for uh, the country Turkey, TUR, is the ticker. So it's made, it's been coming down for a while and then has gone nowhere for a couple of years. But um, in 2022, it started to wake up and we can see how it, it took out this prior peak here and then these multiple peaks that multi-year multiple peaks up here is finally now taking uh, those out on some strong momentum. And then we can see that support stuck for the most part 
you know, we'll be able to a few undercuts. Um, so definitely looks like a, a reasonable bottoming pattern. Now this is kind of making its way through the paces. So um, you, what you want to do is wait for some kind of uh, pullback in um, so you can get a lower price. Wait, look for a pullback on this stock and, and then reversal of that pullback to back to the upside would be your entry. So one idea for you to take a look at. Okay, so that's the uh, update for the indexes uh, uh, plus your one ETF idea. If you haven't subscribed, uh, please consider subscribing. And thanks in advance for that. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up, share with your family and friends. If you're inclined to leave a comment, um, and we'll look at those. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.